felt really natural and appropriate to have you know, a, a British manufacturer providing, you know, the Hero car, which is an incredibly important car in our list and, and plays an, an important role in our in our game, you know. And we've had phenomenal cover cars previously. The Senna is no different in terms of just the level of engineering which is present. And obviously McLaren are renowned worldwide as this incredibly uh, pioneering engineering firm. They've brought that all to bear on the Senna. The Forza franchise is a fantastic opportunity and we definitely saw that with the partnership with the P1. It certainly allowed us to bring our brand to an entirely different audience. Its USP, its you know, reason for being is to deliver the ultimate driving experience, connection between the machine and the driver, and clearly, you know, that, that speaks to the name of the car, and obviously named after Ed and Senna. It's been a real privilege to be involved as we've brought that into the game, and McLaren have been incredibly uh, open uh, and forthcoming and allowing us access to, to whatever it is different parts of the team need to recreate it as, as perfectly as possible. The McLaren Senna itself was a different beast. That car is it's like nothing I've ever seen or recorded. And we, we kind of faced a few challenges with, with that car, with the fact that the engine was encased, we couldn't really get access to it. We did actually just have to get our arms into one of the little crevices of the, of the Senna and get the, the engine mic'd up that way. And then we also record the, the authentic cockpit uh, interior as well, which means that in every single view of the Senna, you're hearing exactly what it sounded like for us in the car as we were driving it. So what we have here is each individual microphone that we put on the Senna and um, just going to go through, you can hear the kind of difference between each one. So we had, um, we had the engine, which sounded a little bit like that. And that was from three different points on the Senna, which uh, we can bring together to make a really cool sound for the engine. Something that sounds a bit more aggressive, a bit cooler. So this is uh, the McLaren Senna actually implemented in the game, which has a nice rasp to it. All these exhaust pops that you can hear, they uh, were authentic recordings which, uh, which came from the McLaren session. Um, so that pop that you can hear, that's an authentic McLaren Senna pop. And inside you can hear that cockpit recording that we've, we've done. Many manufacturers love to say their car is a race car for the road and I think the Senna is one of the, the first cars we've seen where it genuinely is a race car for the road and that meant we had to approach it very differently. From the handling point of view, we strive to create a system where we treat it more from an engineering background than anything else so that allows us to take data supplied from the manufacturers and people at McLaren are great for giving really in-depth data. That allows us to then pipe that into the system and create the handling that way so we know it's, it's the most authentic and accurate handling we can create for the car. When it comes to tyres, aerodynamics and things, we're looking towards what a race car is capable of, but somehow it has to function on a road as well. So things like suspension and the tyre itself has to be much more progressive and drivable than, than a race car. That's been one of the big challenges, getting that huge race car performance, but how McLaren have actually created this, this road car is, is quite astonishing. We're incredibly happy with, with how the Senna's turned out and super excited to, to let people get their hands on it because it's such a rare car that very few people will in, in the real world. and it's. One of the few places you're going to be able to, to drive the Senna.